Two words for you. Life Mad Libs. I have a question. Do you find yourself asking the question, what do I want to do with my life? If so, trust me, you are not alone. I am here to help you find the answers in a fun, easy, and playful way. Let's get started with my Life Mad Libs exercise here to help you tap into what you want to do with your life. And be sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with weekly fun creative exercises like this one that will help you figure out your life. I'll see you in there. I don't know about you, but I've been guilty in the past and even sometimes in the present of letting life happen to me and going through life by the force of inertia. I don't know, can you relate? I didn't want to rock the boat, right? Especially when everything was going fine and there was a possibility of change that could, yes, make it better, but that fear of the unknown set in, like it could be better or what if I screw it up and, and make it way worse? Like, I'll just deal with fine. Fine is good, right? I don't need to go one up because of that fear of that uncertainty. So I don't know about you, but remember back to your earliest childhood memory. How old were you? How did you feel about learning new things? Chances are you were learning new things every single day as a young child. I didn't realize it then, but as children, we were fearless when it comes to learning. But as we grow older, fear often just takes over us, right? It doesn't have to be this way. We can tap into that inner childlike wonderment and fearlessness to bring back that inner creativity and freedom that we had as children. And this creativity will give you the confidence and the clarity to realize your true goals. Well, you may be wondering, who am I? I am Jasmine Katarakarn, a certified coach and artist, and I am here to help you break out of that box society has built and draw outside the lines to create your own unique path to happiness through my creative thinking process and exercises, like this fun Life Mad Libs exercise that will help you start that process. Now, before we get into it, who here remembers the childhood game Mad Libs, right? And for those that are not familiar with it, let me give you a little quick summary. It's a fun, interactive story that you add words to. When you see a blank, you insert a word. Normally, you'd say like noun, verb, adverb, adjective, etc. And once all the words are added, you fill it in and it results in the story. And usually, it's really fun and and whimsical and just hilarious, right? So think of this creative exercise as Mad Lib with a twist. It gets you like tapping into that inner child of just like having fun with something, but it also fills the answers with this um, thing, the story that's gonna help you tap into that question, what do I wanna do with my life, right? That free spirit that we only had as kids we can now tap into it in this exercise here. So, are you guys ready? Let's go. Let's start doing this. I am ready. I am excited to hear your story. So, we first step is, if you haven't done it yet, uh, go ahead and download this Life Mad Libs for free. The link is down below. And you can either print it out or it's a fillable PDF form as well. So you don't have to um, print it out if you don't want to. And let's go through it together, right? It should only take a couple of minutes and it's fun. And it's really, you know, it's just like, it reminds me of being a kid again, which I love. And I feel like we all need that kind of break from <laughs> adulthood. So let's start. First question. And these are not hard questions. Like, my name is... And then you fill in your blank. Um, my name is Jasmine. I'm going to write Jasmine. I am most passionate about my kids. Creating. I love to create things. Ooh, and what else? Oh, food. <laughs> I love food. Mainly eating it 
and eating them and uh, trying new things. I'm very passionate about food. I can talk about hours about food. What do I dislike? Uh, I dislike tedious tasks. I dislike driving. I really don't like to drive. That's why I live in New York City. It's very intentional. And I dislike long-winded sentences. <laughs> I know that sounds funny, but it's true. I really, those little long-winded sentences get me every time. Um, who do I admire? Now, this one's going to be, might be one of the tougher ones to start, but, you know, I'll pick one person. Uh, Steve Jobs. I admire Steve Jobs. And then I'll think, think what's their best qualities? Like, why, why do I admire him? I was like, oh, okay, I never thought of it that way, but yeah. He thinks outside the box, mm -hmm. he has a clear vision, which I really admire, and he takes action, and he gets results, okay? So if I had absolutely no limits, I would choose to, interesting, <laughs> there's so many I could put here. I'm just going to say, create whatever I can imagine for work. I live in New York City, but, I will caveat, I want LA weather. <laughs> Uh, be surrounded by family and friends. Yes, definitely family and friends. Okay, now that we have that, let's go on to the next page where we fill in the story, right? So you can see this corresponding letters with the like fill in answer from A, let's say. So it's just essentially like go ahead and fill in where it was um, in the in your first sheet. So what Blank A was my name, so what Jasmine wants to do with their life. Um, I want to live a life filled with, and that's where I put the B, C, and D. My kids, creating, and food. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want tedious tasks, driving, and long-winded sentences in my life. I mean, just by saying that out loud, I'm like, yes, I definitely don't want that stuff in my life. It's nice to see it all clearly <laughs> laid out. Um, what I'm doing, I'm, I'll say, creating whatever I can imagine for work. I'm living in New York City with LA weather. I'm not sure if I, I can actually control that one, but I like that dream of that idea. If anyone knows any place like New York City with LA weather, tell me in the comments. And I'm surrounded by family and friends. The qualities I value are thinking outside the box, clear vision, right, and taking action to get results. I will make sure to include these values in my life moving forward. So there's my story, guys. Should I read it out loud one more time? Okay. What Jasmine wants to do with her life. I want to live a life with my kids, creating, and food. I don't want tedious tasks, driving, and long-winded sentences in my life. <laughs> the long-winded still makes me laugh. I'm creating whatever I can imagine for work, living in New York City with LA weather, and surrounded by family and friends. The qualities I value are thinking outside the box, clear vision, and taking action to get results. I will make sure to include these values in my life moving forward. This story is the beginning of answering the question, what do I want to do with my life? I will use this story as a starting off point to reimagine my life and how I can start filling it with all these things. I don't know about you guys, but just reading my story out loud, I felt like really empowered. I was like, yes, this is exactly what I want. And it took minutes, right? And it's just like tapping into doing the filling it in. It was fun. And then putting it just in this simple story form. I was like, yes, how it's so clear in just one paragraph. This is what I want to do with my life. So this is just a starting off point. I hope you guys felt the same way when you were doing your story. Tell me, what is your story? Share it with me in the comments. Maybe share it with me. What are the traits um, that you most value? I always think that's an interesting one. And then the next step is to go to my traits video. You can find the link in the description below for another creative exercise to brainstorm on how you can develop them. Um, yeah, I find like I'm so empowered just by reading my story here. I was like, yes, this is what I want to do with my life. I hope you feel the same. 
Thank you for spending this time with me and I look forward to more time together. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more exercises and free coloring templates just like this one. I will see you soon. Bye!